to be honest, I think the car looks much, much better than the previous version. If the previous version was a little bit square in designs, this time Volkswagen go a little bit round, so they try to round up the car to improve the aerodynamic. They put a lot of work. Today, I have with me one of the most sold car from Volkswagen in the history. It's about the brand new Volkswagen Tiguan 2024. And I'm super excited to present you in this video because when it comes to SUV, city SUV, I think Volkswagen Tiguan might be one of the best option to get. And surprisingly, as I test the brand new Passat, Today, I have the same engine, the same diesel engine that I tested there, and I'm super excited to see and to test again a diesel car, even though it's probably one of the last one that will appear in the next years. I still think it's a very good option for the people that are not ready yet to go full electric or for the people that are diesel fans. They need to travel very long distance very often. They have to pull trailers. I think diesel is still a great option. And in this video, I will present you the brand new Volkswagen Tiguan 2 liter diesel engine four cylinders in line that comes with an automatic transmission all the version come with an automatic transmission seven speed dsg from volkswagen and it works really good because i test it also on the new passat and in this video full review interior exterior technical data material quality space technology the new multimedia system everything about this new tig one you will find out in this video also if you want to see the test drive if you want to see how it's on the road consumption and all those information about uh, stability and all that stuff i will have a separate video on my channel so check out the other video because there i will give you more information when it comes to driving we will drive to the together the car and will be really interesting now guys if you are in romania i really recommend you to go in ployest at darius motors i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they have the car already here they are super nice they have also a life version because today we have the airline version kind of the top of the end uh, version but they have also a basis entry level version with the same diesel engine so if you want to see that car if you want to see this car if you want to test drive it if you want to buy it check them out they are very nice they will help you with everything now guys i want to give you the price and then we will start with technical data and then we will do the review the price of this car start at around fifty thousand three hundred ninety four euro here at darius motors and with all the options that i will go through in a second uh, the price will go up to fifty eight thousand four hundred sixty two euro and for all the technology and all all the safety features and the quality of the car i think it's a really good price for today and let's take into consideration it's an suv let me go through the options a little bit so as i said before it is the airline version kind of the top of the line version it comes with a two liter tdi diesel engine with a dsg automatic transmission seven speed for motion this version is for motion not all the version are able to come in four wheel drive but this one this diesel uh, engine come like this and also the petrol top of the range petrol version over 200 horsepower will come with an all wheel drive system 193 horsepower and in a second i will give you even more details but let me go a little bit through those options so you can see right here the black color it's an option 624 euro i will show you when we go outside then we have the hook in the back i will show you when we go there 1137 euro iq hd matrix lights totally recommend you guys because on the rear you will have also the led 3d with dynamic turning signal and they are only 614 euro i really really recommend you to get this option then you have the infotainment system discovery pro 2418 euro where you have integrated the new ida assistant voice that it's kind of connected to a chat ai intelligent like chat gpt something like that so the car will be able to also give you more intelligent answers when you talk with it we will try it a little bit later so we will see how it works but keep in mind it's a 
around 2,500 euro. Then we have the wheels, York wheels, that are 20 inch rims, 486 euro. The black style package that I will show you when we go outside, it's 817 euro. That looks really good in combination with this color because everything is black out. I will show you when we go outside as well. Then you have the IQ drive package that I will definitely get it because you have all the good stuff when it comes to lane assist, travel assist, uh, autopilot and adaptive cruise control and all that stuff. Only 900. 25 euro definitely definitely think it's a must have on the car pack technology with safe lock 1000 euro and here you have all that uh, trunk with sensors to open it automatically and then you have the keyless entrance and you have the alarm and anti thief stuff that will kind of see when someone uh, pull or move your car it's kind of a smart intelligent alarm that if you live in a country where you know that uh, the cars are stolen often you probably need to get this option as well and then the final price will go up to 58,462 euro as i tell you before here are all the options that come standard on this version i will go through when we go in the video and i will explain you more and more of them but something that i want to point out and i think it's very important is this dcc pro that they definitely updated on this new version and this new dcc pro suspension system for uh, the new tiguan features several technological enhancement it will now include adaptive dampers with dual adjustment valves for quicker response and smoother ride quality. The ASP system has been updated for better coordinate with the electronic differential lock and the adaptive component of the DCC Pro system. So now you are able to somehow choose between more different comfort feelings. And I will show you that also when we will go to the multimedia system because that will make more sense to explain you there and also i will explain you when we will do the test drive video so check out that video if you want to find out also more information and more detail let me give you even more information about the car and the performance of the car of this diesel version like i said before 193 horsepower 400 newton meters 0 to 107 7.7 seconds the top speed of the car 220 km per hour estimated consumption vltp 6.4 liters the fuel tank capacity 58 liter and the co2 emission 168 grams emission rating euro 6 ea the weight of the car 1750 kilograms you can pull a trailer of up to 2300 kilograms with brakes so that's pretty pretty good so diesel cars are really useful when it comes to pulling other uh, trailers it comes at a longer size that means 4 meter 53 centimeters and that allow the car to have even better trunk space 652 liters on this diesel version but keep in mind if you get the plug-in hybrid version you will have a less trunk space because the battery 48 volt battery will eat up the space a little bit in the back there but on this diesel version you have 652 liter 1650 liter if you fold down the seats completely the second row and the turning circle of the car by the way around 11.7 meters is not that uh, incredible now i know that many people are not going to go with this tiguan off-road but i still want to give you the numbers when it comes to approach angle 15.9 departure angle 18.6 and ramp over breakover angle 15.2 degrees so those are really important it comes with ventilated brake discs on the front and normal brake discs on the rear mcpherson independent suspension on the front and also a multi-link independent suspension on the rear but they are adaptive with those new dumpers control that are just incredible i mean i can't wait to drive the car and to give you the feedback when we go on the road another very very important thing to tell you is the fact that now volkswagen on this new tiguan because of the shape of the car they improved aerodynamic they focus a lot on aerodynamic and they give it this uh, kind of an electric shape electric design shape that improved aerodynamic 
from uh, what was before on the previous Tiguan 0.33 drag coefficiency now it's 0.28 so it's a big big improvement when it comes to aerodynamic even though it's a diesel version they still improved aerodynamic of overall the chassis and the design of the car I know probably not on this version it's so improved because it comes with 20 inch rims sporty rims but on the live version that they already have have it inside here and they have the smaller rims they are uh, those are dynamic rims I will sh probably show you on the screen now they will improve much better the aerodynamic because they are designed the same as on the electric cars so now guys I think I cover almost everything I don't know if I miss something from technical uh, specification but if you still have question ask me down below now let's start the review even though outside it's super windy it's crazy windy not so good for a review and let's speak a little bit about the exterior design and then we will go inside and I will explain you also about the multimedia system so yeah let's go guys today I think it's one of the most windy day that I ever review a car I hope I manage and I hope you hear me well uh, first of all we will start with the key as always and you can see that it's the same key as they use it also on other model in the last years with a little bit of glossy plastic it's quite nice it's relatively light and pretty modern what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car open the trunk because it comes with an automatic lift gate and the cool part is that when you unlock the car at least in the night time when you can see it pretty clear it will have a very nice light playing on the rear and also in the front so the lights will have a nice play i will try to open it right now to see if that will work i'm not sure if, if you can see it clear but it has a very very nice light playing and also when you lock the car the same story also it comes with electric folding mirror and also when you come close to the car the car will unlock the doors and even if you don't touch the key it will also lock the car when you go a little bit farther away i'm not sure how much distance here i think it's around three meters or something like that uh, the car will lock automatically you can do that also from here it has keyless entrance also volkswagen still bring on this tiguan those handles those classic handles i wish although to have those new handles as volkswagen have it on id cars where they have it integrated in the door i think they will even win a little bit more aerodynamic with that approach but uh, overall the quality of the handles they are really really good but yeah this is something for the future that probably they might uh, improve other than that if you want to hold the unlock button usually if the car is set up they can open the windows but I guess on this car uh, it doesn't have set up those windows uh, open and close from the key but you can see the light playing when you lock it and unlock it in the front yeah usually you can see it also on the side yeah pretty interesting this is what you can do with the key guys and yeah by the way i forget to show you press this button in the middle and you open the trunk automatically because it comes with this automotive lift gate and also if you want to close it you just hold it and then you don't have to hold it all the time that's a good part anyway this is the key to be honest i think the car looked much much better than the previous version if the previous version was a little bit square in designs this time volkswagen go a little bit round so they try to round up the car to improve the aerodynamic they put a lot of work in the improving aerodynamic of the car and it looks much nicer much better in terms of design from my point of view it looks gorgeous at least in this airline version with a black pack i think it's just perfect i mean not only that it has the perfect size for an suv that you can drive in the city and also on the highway without any problem you can park it in whatever parking space you want it's also very beautiful so probably probably there will be many people that want to buy and drive this car because it's crazy attractive also i sit with the car today a little bit and i noticed that the quality inside it's pretty similar with a brand new passat and i was super impressed i was really love that car when i test it 
few weeks ago and I think this Tig One it's kind of the same really good material quality in the interior very beautiful lines and design so uh, overall the exterior design of the car look really really nice I don't know about you but I really like it I don't know if it's something that I can complain when it comes to design and sharp edges and stuff like that that previous version has this time the front end it's a little bit more round where the back end still keep a few sharp edges here and there but they really improved the aerodynamic also here on the rear and I saw a few information where these areas here was improving the air in the back because usually they have to improve also the aerodynamic not only on the front when the, the car is hitting the the air in the front but also the back end have to be improved in order to release the air in a smooth way from 0.33 drag coefficiency now it's 0.28 so much more improved not sure if with these wheels will be like that but with the aerodynamic wheels and smaller wheels uh, will be for sure really nice design and you can see here the black pack usually if you get the airline you will have some black here and there but but you won't have everything in black for example the roof rails right now they are in black around the windows you have black glossy everywhere and it looks so nice it's blending so beautiful with this uh, color then you have also the mirror caps in black you have air on the side of course this is from the airline uh, but you have also the front grille everything glossy black even those air intakes here look so, so nice, man. I really, really like it. The rims have a little bit of chrome here and there, but it's a nice touch in this black sea, I should say. In the back, we have this spoiler that also was improved. And also it comes a little bit lower here, a little bit uh, nicer sporty design. And also on the side, you have those uh, piano black that improve also the aerodynamic, but also the look of the car, it make it look stand out a little bit better and it's much more aerodynamic. Up there, you have the radio antenna in black that looks nice, tinted windows on the rear, tinted windows on the side. This car come with double glass everywhere, acoustic glass, super good sound insulation from the exterior of the car. So they improve this as well. This is also a point uh, to keep in mind. Then you have the brake light LED up here, heated window on the rear and also in the front you have heated windshield, uh, the wiper in the back. Also coming in the back here we have the IQ light that I really recommend you to get it as an option if you will buy the car because you have such an amazing light. Volkswagen are well known for years uh, when it comes to light that they make really, and Volkswagen Group in general, they make really good lights following turning signal you can see it's right here in the package included kind of a three-dimensional light in the nighttime it looks really nice and you have this bar that goes across the back of the car so it's super visible in the nighttime you know it's a Volkswagen here is the fog lamp LED light and the reverse lights are here and here so you have also LED light on the reverse light and in the middle you have the new Volkswagen logo reverse camera is down here and you have also LED lights on the number plate so that's also something to keep in mind and on the black pack you will have this Tig One writing in a black glossy where without the black pack you will have it in normal chrome so that's uh, another thing to keep in mind down here super beautiful aggressive nice looking bumper and I'm happy that the car manufacturers managed to make those bumpers look good even though uh, they don't show off those exhaust pipes. So even if it's a diesel, we don't see any exhaust pipe in the back. I like very much this touch of design, sharp edges on the side, it looks so nice. And also these kind of triangles on the, on the back here look really, really nice. Integrated six sensors on the rear and also uh, here on the side you have one for all the safety features and the parking sensors and also for automatic parking system that the car come with. I like this light reflector down here that all the other traffic participants to see you from the back a little bit better in the nighttime. And under there is the hook that I will show you a little bit later. You have also the exhaust pipe here on the left side. And yeah, that's it with the back, guys. Another thing that I like on the car is the fact that those protection plastics around the wheels they are in black glossy so they 
blend in very nice with the color of the car. Here we have the wheels, 20 inch wheels, very nice design, very sporty looking, uh, very cool, but not so aerodynamic as the smaller one. So you can, you can go from 17 to 20 or 21 if I remember well, but they look really, really good, really nice. And on the rear, normal brake discs, in the front, ventilated brake discs, a little bit bigger brake discs on the front, but those are the brake calipers. Other than that, you can see it's extending on the down part, on the down skirt, this plastic protection under the doors. Uh, it's very useful. And also it comes in the front. It's also a little bit extended here in this area. So you can throw stones on the, on the body of the car in time, will be protected uh, the paint of the car. So lovely and also very nice integration. We have the R on the both sides. This is the mirror caps, pretty big turning signals, LED light. Here is the camera for 360 degrees camera that I will show you when we go inside. Here are huge mirrors. Basically, they are really big and very visible. And the blind spot technology is not on the mirror. It's here on the side. Up here on the windshield, even though the windshield is heated, the car was built, by the way, in Germany, in Wolfsburg. That says a lot about the car and about the quality. And up here you have the camera for all that, uh, reading the traffic speed limit, lane assist, all the safety features. Then you have some sensors for light and raining that work together with the radar that's located here behind this Volkswagen logo in the front. The front end, as I said before, much more round and smooth. Today is not such a good day, guys. First of all, it's sunny, it's bad for filming. Second of all, it's super windy, I barely speak. I don't know if you can see it, probably you won't notice on the video because I will delete this noise and wind, but still, it's hard to talk today, hard to concentrate. The front end, much more slicker and round. They move down the grill, you can see no more grill on the upper side. The grill is all the way down, close to the bumper. Down here, you can see it's much bigger, it's like a big mouth, but it looks so, so nice in this black glossy, really beautiful. Air intakes on the both sides to improve the aerodynamic, but also to look much more sportier. And you can see the air will go around here, outside, around the wheels. Six sensors on the front as well. Down here, you have some active cooling air intakes. So you can see right now they are closed, but then when the engine needs to be cooled down, they will open. And also air intakes, simple air intakes on the upper side. Here is the front camera. And here is the LED bar that goes across the front of the car. Uh, and also everything is closed here in a plastic. And then you have the R here. Look really, really cool. Then you have the following turning signal in the front. IQ light writing right there in the middle. And this is the latest technology when it comes to Volkswagen Group. It has all the cornering light and not blinding the other traffic participants. They move around. When it comes to lightning, uh, I'm a big fan of Volkswagen Group in a special. I really had a car from 2017 or 18 that I was super happy with the lights. Uh, and this one, it's super good. In terms of design, technology, nothing to complain, man. I mean, it's really, really good. There are a few elements on the car that they improve when it comes to aerodynamic, not only on the exterior body that you can see, but also under the car, yeah? I remember something here, these areas here, they are also added for a better aerodynamic when the wind will hit the car. And yeah, I'm not going to go too much into detail with aerodynamic, but it's a big point, a big improvement to this new Tiguan. So overall, nice design. Also, I like the fact that they keep the size of the window here. That means you will have a good visibility from the interior and also the quality here between the windows. It's very good. And also here you have black glossy. So quite nice. Otherwise, the doors sound really good. Really good quality. Nothing to complain about here. So. Yeah, overall the quality is very, very good, guys. I want to show you also the engine right now. The engine is on. Let me stop the lights from here. You stop it. It's very, very simple. You can put it on auto just like that. Now let's go to the engine. The engine was on all the time, even though it's super windy, pretty silent. And that's a good thing. From here, from the middle, you open the hood and it comes with automatic lift gate in the front. And here is the space for the engine. So to make an idea, 
the two liter diesel engine, 193 horsepower, kind of the same array as Volkswagen always have it. We have here the air filter, the, the battery, the fuse box, the liquid for the wipers. Here is the diesel filter and then the liquid cooling around there. So yeah, overall, this is it guys. A very, very reliable, very reliable engine. And this system with transmission and engine, we all know that the diesel engines uh, from Volkswagen, yeah, they are super reliable. So when it comes to this point, uh, I have to say that. Going in the trunk, automatic lift gate, super easy to open up the trunk. Now, it's a bigger trunk right here than before, and that's super helpful. And you can already see with your own eyes, the entrance is huge. You have also this protection here for the trunk. I will take it out and I will show you how it looks without it. This is the button to close it. You have the triangle, the handle up here. Here you have some plastic at the entrance. LED lights, I like that. On the both sides, this is really important in the nighttime. Then down here you have plenty of storage space. You have some hooks here. You have also on the right side hooks as well. You have hooks here to put different items. You have a 12 volt port here in the trunk, super useful. You have those handles to fold down the seats in the front, something that you don't find in much more expensive cars. Don't want to give names. Also the same story here, some storage space here. Super practical stuff. I like that. Then the floor, you're probably wondering, ah, it's not a flat floor. Yes, it is a flat floor because you can adjust the floor and you can put it straight away and you have a completely flat floor to put different items here. I like that. I really like it. And then you have a full spare tire right here. Space for a spare tire. You can also take it out if you don't want it, if you don't need it, like in some country where the streets are perfect. For example, I don't know, Switzerland. Uh, really good streets probably uh, will never broke a wheel or something like that or if it's happened it's happened one time in in 10 years or 20 years probably you don't have to uh, carry with you all the time the spare tire and to carry all that weight um, but yeah it is what it is i like that and also the great part is that it's adjustable and it's adjustable so simple and easy i can do that with only one hand now let me take this out and then i will show you how it looks with the seats folding down now you can take a look at the entrance look how big it is man it's huge it's square it's just perfect to fit in here huge items without any problem i told you this suv size i think it's kind of the perfect size if you want to get an suv and drive also in the city because you have space you have practicality you have beauty you have a higher ground clearance and better visibility and look at the space much more practical at least uh, with this diesel uh, version and if you want to fold down the seat you can fold it from here from these handles or you can go around the doors but before that i forget to show you the hook because this car 1100 euro uh, is the hook optional to get it it's semi-automatic so you have to do it two times so pull it back like that super easy super useful as well if you want to fold down the middle part, you have this possibility. You just press this button and push it forward. I love how easy it is to fold it down. Where on other cars, you have to go here under this or somewhere here and pull some strap and stuff like that. No, on Volkswagen, it's everything. It's simple and easy. Press the button, push it forward. I like that. So great job for this ergonomy and simplicity. I really like those solution that Volkswagen had. Now, carry long items, keys, two passengers in the back, super practical. You want to fold down the seats now on the side, just pull it like that, super simple. Usually the seats will go all the way down, but now because I left uh, the, the middle part down, it won't go completely, but you can do it like that. And then it locks here. Also another uh, safety feature, it's that the seats are locked in case of an accident. You, the seats or your stuff will don't don't jump out around here they will stay safe and locked so this is uh, a safe safety feature let's say like that now what i like very much about this trunk is that you have a completely flat floor so you can carry big items without any problem you can add here you can even sleep here i can go inside here without any problem and sleep so this is this is super super useful super practical plenty of space 
nothing to complain in terms of practicality i think i will give it a 10 from 10. also we have big big entrance from the side so the entrance are huge and you can see one more time in the back how much space you have in the entrance so really really good space a lot a lot of space for uh, a lot of items even on the legs room even though you have the transmission tunnel you still have some left room to put different items so overall pretty good space uh, for those of you that are wondering why is this a tiger here and on the other side it's a iguana it's because the name of the car comes from those two animals uh, tiguan it's tiger and iguana tiguana you know so yeah that's the thing and something cute in the car anyway big window one it's here fixed one can be full down and the cool part is that now volkswagen tiguan come with double glass and also the great part is that you can fold it all the way down inside the door and it's double glassing on the rear and double glassing on the front that means it's a great great uh, sound insulation inside the car on the upper side here you have plastic in this area then you have some black piano the finger handle i call it uh, on passat and also here on this uh, tiguan they look uh, super nice they feel great quality and they they are a new unique thing and i like it leather in this area you have a small speaker here a big speaker right here leather here super good quality and super soft and also here i like that the button for the windows here you have storage space pretty big storage space i always love the volkswagen because they have those storage spaces in their cars and also they have this uh, stove kind of a stove soft material inside here so if you put something there you don't hear that scratch on the plastic so super nice quality i like that now when you go at the entrance you see that you have also an extra storage space here at the entrance in the car this is also super useful and other than that as you saw before big big entrance in the car relatively huge entrance you can go inside the car without any problem and you can see from this angle how uh, the interior look like and i leave on purpose that seats like that to show you that you can basically adjust the seats you can put it straight or you can put it all the way on the back those are all the way on the back and this is all the way straight so you can see the difference it's around 15 centimeters so pretty good add-on and you can have more space in the trunk if you need that and this is not all this is not all because you can also adjust the seats from down here you have also these handles uh, it's pretty hard to do that with one hand so all you have to do is just pull it oh and you need a little bit of power and once you do that you can save even more space in the trunk but also you can put it all the way in the front so if you want to carry big items you don't have persons here you can do that or if you have only one person that stay there you can do that on this side and you win some some space in the trunk where you can carry different items so anyway super cool add-on to the car i like that i find it super super practical the seats those are the kind of a sporty seats for this airline version they were used on the our version if i'm not wrong on the previous version uh, we have leather we have some microfiber here and the textile material in the middle they look really nice they feel good quality here we have isofix for two child seats in the back and also in the middle you have this armrest you can also open this like that and then you can put your cup holders here super nice anyway good quality here leather everything feel really really nice what i like very much look at this the wind is so strong that it hit me with the door uh, behind the front seat you have also some storage space up here i like that and also here and i like the fact that you don't have any plastic it's it's all this leather soft and nice material now going inside you have also a hook up here going inside the car you have this transmission tunnel that's relatively big and here you have two USB-C. They are super powerful, 45 uh, volts. That means you can charge also your laptop. And here you have the controller for the climatic system. You can choose the temperature and then you can choose the direction of the air here. Also glossy plastic, it feels good. It looks good, quite nice, quite modern. Up here on the roof, you have some LED lights. Uh, that you can turn it off and on super nice they look cool and also the roof quality from one to ten and eight really good quality also you have the handle 
Now let me close the door a little bit. This is the handle, this is the hook. Tinted windows, visibility wise, it's really good outside. So nothing to complain, you have also big window there. Uh, in terms of space, I already adjust the seats in my driving position. Man, when it comes to space, I'm crazy surprised. At least for me, 173 centimeters. I have huge space over my head. Check this out, maybe six, seven, almost eight uh, fingers over my head. Uh, and also on the legs, you can see for yourself, I have huge, huge space here. Look at this, huge space. And I adjust the seat. This is my driving position, 173 centimeters. I can stretch my legs under the front seats completely. Look at this, I have my, my legs completely stretched right now. So I have plenty, plenty, plenty of space here. So nothing to complain. Now I wanna put this back. You just have to pull this strap and then go all the way back and go in the middle. Now, once I'm in the middle, I have less space, let's say six to seven uh, fingers over my head, stretch my hand almost completely, stretch my hand almost completely, but I think free person here can stay without any problem. Of course, it's a little bit stiffer here, a little bit stiffer on the back, but I think overall for short medium trips, you can do it without any problem here. So space wise, it's really good because they still keep the back of the car. It's not a coupe -ish look, you know, or design. So you have this kind of square design also in the back here. That's super helpful. Anyway, going in the front, this is the new dashboard with that huge 15 inch screen that you can also, this is optional. Uh, you can get it standard with a smaller one, but yeah, it looks also cool. And I love the fact that it's tilted to the driver. So that helped a lot. Uh, really nice modern look of the display. The steering wheel on this airline version, it looks fabulous. I mean, I really love this, uh, this steering wheel guys. Uh, I think it's, it's probably one of the most uh, beautiful steering wheel uh, that you can get on a Volkswagen car. And if you go a little bit closer, check it out. It's really, really beautiful. I really love it. I don't know about you, but I uh, definitely like it a lot. Anyway, guys, let's go in the front and we will talk about those things. Here we have a big window from one piece and a small one right here in the front. This time the design is a little bit different in the front on the front door and also the quality materials because up here you have soft material everywhere around here. Here you have again this leather with the blue and stitches here in the middle. Soft material here, this area it's much softer, I like that. Uh, and then you have the buttons, electric adjustable mirrors, folding mirrors, the button for the windows, lock the windows. Uh, you have also a speaker here and then another speaker here. The same nice stuff kind of uh, plushy material inside here. Plus you have the button to open the trunk. Here you have the uh, finger handle and then lock and unlock button. And here in the front, not only glossy black, but you have also a nice ambient light that in the nighttime, it looks gorgeous inserted in this area here. Now you have an R on this nice plate, aluminum plate at the entrance. Aluminum pedals, I like those pedals. And then we have the Ergo Active seats. The interesting part with these seats, because we have to talk about them, is the fact that they are bringing uh, on the previous uh, Tiguan, they were used on the R version, but now they use it on the airline version with a little bit of changes here and there. But the seats are semi-automatically, if I can call it like that, because you have to adjust it manually, the position, uh, and also this front part, you can adjust it, but also the, the upper side, the lower side, check this out. You have to adjust it manually, but lumbar parts, you can adjust it electrically. So all these areas here. Plus, the interesting thing is that you have the seats kind of manual, yeah? But you have massage on the seats and the massage on those seats is just incredible. Now, when it comes to seats in a Volkswagen, usually they are incredible and you're never having uh, back pain or stuff like that. They are incredible good quality and they work a lot on those seats and I saw that and they test it a lot. So yeah, they are really good. Side support, side support, the same textile material in the middle with a nice trim with microfiber and leather on the side. Really good seats. Then we go here on this area, you have some storage space in this area. Then you have the buttons to turn on the lights and also fog lamps on the both sides, left and right. Now they call it a little bit different like worse or 
bad weather condition and then you turn on the uh, fog lamps, something like that. Anyway, uh, very simple to adjust it from here. A little bit higher, you have leather stitches, a little bit of blue here. And then look how nice they integrate these uh, beautiful vents in this uh, area. So you have kind of a, uh, let's say, a dashboard here and then it starts this screen. Really interesting design. Uh, I kind of like it. A little bit higher, soft material almost everywhere on the upper side there as well. And even here in the center console, this area, it's with soft material and down here you have some plastic. Anyway, let's go inside the car. It's super windy outside. Going inside, visibility wise around the windows in the mirrors, it's very good. Nothing to complain, even in the mirror up there it's really good visibility so around the windows you have pretty pretty much good visibility even in the back there because it's not a coupeish look you have big windows so the visibility is good and even though you have a 360 degrees camera that i will show you in a second armrest in leather also adjustable you can pull it like that super good quality two cup holders down there you have also this area where you can adjust those things take it out put it back super simple you can put your key or wherever items you want to put it down there so you need a little bit of trying to put it back uh, but i like it a little bit of piano black then you have three kind of controls here start stop button electronic handbrake uh, then you have here this wheel that you can control the volume but if you push it you can control the different driving modes so from here you can change different driving modes and it has a lot of driving modes we will go through in a second plus if you swipe it check this out you can change different moods interior moods and ambient colors so if i go on the screen you can see you can change different moods and with those moods it's changing also the ambient uh, colors around here around here plus you can uh, link it to a music style so every time you change it it will play also some music so yeah really interesting a little bit higher i love this space it's so 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 practical for your phone even though if you have many phones you can put here two phones on the upper side but under this you have also the wireless charging for two big phones so that's crazy crazy useful i love that plus two usb ports 45 watts that means you can charge your laptop even in the front so super powerful i love it now here you have some vents super Super, super good quality they look nice perfectly positioned plus you have this button hazard light perfectly positioned in the middle good quality here led light inserted here i'll show you in the night time and here you have also plenty of storage space to put your stuff in the glow box a little bit higher on the a pillar you have a speaker Head-up display, guys, directly on the windscreen, the same as on Passat. I will try to show you in the test drive video a little bit better. Not sure if you can see it so clear right now, but it's it's very good blended in the window and it looks really good uh, when you're driving. It's perfect. Anyway, here is the speaker and this is the steering wheel. Manually adjustment, up, down, forward, backward, super simple. You can adjust it from here and then you just lock it like that is this r steering wheel that i'm a big fan of this steering wheel why is that because it has those uh, grips here on the side also here on this area great grip great steering wheel it's a little bit uh, fatter it feels really really nice really good control and it looks good and you still have a good visibility through the steering wheel plus you have this r and Thank you Volkswagen for bringing back those physical buttons on the steering wheel, much more easy to use. They should keep it like that uh, because you can change and go through different settings. Here you have the volume, you have also the controllers for the cruise control and autopilot. And here on the right side, you have also the controllers for the cockpit that I will show you, digital cockpit that I will show you in a second. Plus you have also those pedals if you want to change the gears manually, I don't know. How many people will do that but you can change the gears manually if you want to and here i love the fact that they move these big huge stalks from the middle center console they move it behind the steering wheel they should use this on all the new cars that will come from now on so from here you can go in reverse and park just like that so from here you change different driving modes now this is the new digital screen that looks just lovely 
and the resolution, the colors, the images, and all the information that you can see on it, they are super, super clear and simple to, to see and use. And you can go in different settings here, for example, to add different other, let's say, uh, widgets that you would like to see on the screen. And if you go back, you have even more to choose from. So you can choose to have consumption on the left side, just like that or you can choose to have let me go back you can choose to have the average consumption you can choose to have the driving time and distance you can choose to have average speed total distance at blue range operation temperature navigation and so on so that's that's super super useful um, let's say this uh, destination info and the same thing you can do with the right side so super useful and yeah i like it how much customizable it is the middle screen the same story you can choose what you like to see in the middle screen you can see the driving assist systems you can see the consumption and all the information since start and you can even change the view if you want to have it like this with the R in the middle, like a sporty view, you can have it like that. And the same, you can adjust and change what you like to see on the right side and on the left side. So to make it much more interesting and much more useful for you. So yeah, you can leave it just like that. Or you can also change it in a classic way. And the same story apply. You can choose what you like to see in the middle and then on the left, on the right side, the kind of the same story. So really, really nice stuff. Uh, and also you can see the classic view in the same time with the navigation or yeah so on and yeah from for me i think it's probably one of the the best uh, screen and the best digital screen on the market and the visibility from the driver point it's very good and also this screen here 15 inch screen it's tilted to the driver so you have a very very good visibility right there we will go there in the end first of all i want to show you that you have a handle up here you have also this light uh, led light with vanity mirror a little bit higher you have a glass support i'm happy that they keep this very good volkswagen i love this glassy support you have microphone sos button and then some uh, touch sensitive lights up there and the mirror with tiny edges, quite cool. I leave the best to the last, let's say like that, the screen. That it's now much more responsive. It's kind of the same screen as Volkswagen use it also on other version like uh, new Passat, ID7, and uh, it's crazy, crazy responsive. First of all, you go to different settings without any problem. You can set up on the upper side. So this is the home screen. This is the home button from here you okay from here you go to home this is the home screen and on the home screen you have a few pages that you can customize and add whatever information you want you can see right now there are information about the steering angle the oil temperature and from here you can see the compass you can see the coolant temperature there are so many cool information that you can add here plus here you see the position of the car how cool is that and you can also access it even more in details or you can see the downhill assist you can activate deactivate and the steering angle and on the side the traction control the downhill assist and the profile selection and if you can go here even more settings if you want to and you have also this display plus uh, you have the dynamics here so pretty cool this is new on passat you don't have these options but you have it here on t1 anyway you can customize and add whatever widgets you want like vehicle status like consumption and so on you, you just have to go in configuration here and from here you configure and change uh, how you like to have the the home screen and on the first page is the navigation and ida plus those stuff here if you go to ida here you can also activate it very simple by pressing this button here on the steering wheel and then you can hello ida how many degrees are outside today sorry i don't know how to do that yet yeah so that's what i'm telling you anyway can you tell me a few things about volkswagen Tiguan 2024 version. Here's yeah. An overview of all the functions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you got it, guys. I, I, I'm not sure how to use this, but I know that this IDA 
can be connected to a kind of a chat GPT bot and stuff like that. So yeah, this is something to keep in mind. Anyway, so let's go back to the home screen. And then here you have the navigation and the navigation probably one of the best these days. Uh, it started to be much more responsive. So you basically you don't have any lag at all. So it's, it's super, super responsive. You can find a lot of information like gas stations around you. You just press this button and it will find you all the gas station around you so you can navigate through them super easy, super fast. And once you set a destination, destination press start, it's access. like fast. It's crazy fast. You can see it also on the uh, screen here, digital. Uh, screen or you can see it also on the head of display the direction so there you see a lot of information plus you can see the information when you activated the, um, the pilot but anyway very good navigation guys very responsive it has a lot of functions a lot of information and it's also connected to the internet and here on the side you can see plenty of other useful information so yeah and also here you can go to uh, some uh, information and some settings of the map and you can go back to the map on the lower part very important is that there are all the climatic functions plus the seats functions and if you want to go in climatic settings you go and press this clima here and once you press clima this is the climatic system you turn it on and off from here very simple just like that by pressing it and then you just choose where the air to go so you choose the directions and then the air will go in that direction that you choose. So super simple. It has also the extra filters that the car is capable to filtrate the air a little bit better. Otherwise, uh, you can choose from art um, functions how you would like to use it. Anyway, I will turn it off. And you have the seats here. Once you press the seats, it will get you directly to the massage function because it has one of these function and it has so many settings to choose from and i noticed that uh, the massage functions it is really good man so you have waves you have tapping and you have the stretching and i tested before and i have to be honest it's it's probably one of the best seats massage that you can get it and you can stop it from here very simple like that for the passenger the same story pretty cool then you have also off and on here you have also some shortcut uh, button for the climatic system and here they still keep these controllers but now they are illuminated so for the temperature you can choose to set it from here and for volume simple yeah for those of you that still want to use that it's here then on the upper side in this area plus uh, by the way if you sw uh, swipe it in uh, down like that on the on the upper side of the screen you have all the settings and shortcut uh, that you added here plus the brightness and some extra information but on the upper side here you have some shortcuts that you can customize and add wherever you want for example right now is the settings up here so you can access all the settings of the car where you find the time temperature language units you have the network information you have the info information and the configuration then you have the driving modes where you find all the driving modes that you can change it also from the middle wheel so you can go here and you can see the car come with plenty of driving modes you have echo you have comfort you have sport mode you have off-road mode you have snow mode plus you have the individual mode and if you go to individual and if you go to settings you can set up the way you want to have it so for example with this new dcc pro damping let's say control you can control from 15 modes to choose how you like to have the suspension you have it super comfortable you go all the way here and you have super comfort you want to have it in the middle in the middle you want to have it super sporty you go to choose super sporty so that's the fantastic dcc pro function that volkswagen come with and i definitely recommend you if you buy a volkswagen to get it with this dcc pro because it's really good then of course you can choose the all-wheel drive comfort sport steering uh, drive mode adaptive cruise control light assist and air conditioning you can choose and uh, adapt how you like to have all those functions plus if you go to atmosphere uh, you choose all these atmosphere and colors inside the car um, and ambient light that looks really nice and give you a nice pleasant feeling plus even the colors on the uh, 
cockpit it's changing so that's also a nice touch to have it on the car then up here you have the assistance systems where you find all the safety features of the car so here you can go to list and you have all the safety features of the car from lane assist uh, you can activate deactivate and if you go here uh, you go a little bit deeper into the details speed warning alert monitoring drowsiness monitoring front assist adaptive cruise control echo assist yeah and so on depend what uh, functions and safety features have your car you can adjust it from here then you have the parking because the car come with this park assist and trailer assist that's also cool uh, you can uh, definitely uh, park the car it will park for you so yeah you probably know this function plus i forget to tell you that the car come with a summon function that means you're able if you park the car in a tight place you are able to summon it for your mobile phone you can take your mobile phone to the car and it's able to go out and in um, the the parking lot anyway the camera is 360 degrees camera the resolution is not the best but it's super super visible because you have this huge screen and you can see side front back uh, every single angle plus you have those active lines that guide you very easy in the parking lot you can see the trailer view or the wide view so it's super super useful also this camera then the start stop engine button function it's up here and then you have the car if you go to the car here you go to the all the safety features because all those up here are shortcut functions and now if you press one more ah no 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 i was wrong this was on I have to go out and then if you go to this car you will have all these uh, functions from here like head up display on and off auto hold you can add widgets also this area you can customize so you see you have one more space here that you can add what you like to have here for example you can add the downhill assist you can add the trip you can add the mirrors lower the mirror start stop function auto hold depend what you like the experience mode and so on so for example let's add the downhill assist and now you will have here when you go here you will have all these functions for example the traction control interior monitoring head up display auto hold downhill assist so uh, it's really really useful now if you go up all the way here in the corner you access all the settings and the menu of the car guys so from here you find everything like the air conditioning the shop the IDA, the settings, sound settings here, and it has plenty of sound settings to choose from. Okay, okay. Then uh, you have also the seats function. So here you find all the settings of the seats. You have the background lights that you saw it before and the moods. You can also individualize how you like to have it and you can choose the brightness in different uh, areas. For example, if you wanna have stronger brightness in this area you make it stronger if you want stronger in the doors you make it maximum and so on and down there on the legs so you can choose how strong you want to have the ambient light and then you can choose also the colors or you can put it depending on the mood you are in then going here to the off-road information on this car as you saw before you have all this off-road information that you find it here the driving experience uh, with driving modes you find it here you have the settings of the car where you have where you find all that settings that i showed you a little bit earlier here the same safety features parking app connect here you are able to connect your phone i did a video separate video on my channel where you can see how to do that so yeah check it out guys and let me go back navigation vehicle you already saw it before oh no on the vehicle here we have all the information and settings of the car so you can go to the interior and you can go to head up display and here you have all the settings of the head up display you can make it a little bit brighter you can choose the position the color scheme and you can choose what you would like to show off on the head up display so this is super super good because you can customize in so many ways you have the cockpit here settings and then if you go to the ah by the way the interior lights uh, are also here plus you have the exterior settings like the comfort light uh, and this one is the with animation from outside because the car have a few animation on the rear so you have animation one two three i'll try to show you in the night time 
uh, how they look like if I get the time but from here you can change from three different animation uh, entry light duration exit light duration uh, light animation on or off it's really really cool if you have these uh, settings on the car plus you have the status here but I will show you in a second uh, then you have the tires information you have here the headlights information because here the headlights are so complicated you have this iq hd metrics headlights you have a lot of functions like dynamic cornering light you can turn it on and off you can go to iq lights here orientation basic function light from construction sites and narrow areas a lane guidance basic function it, it it's so complex this light i mean it's it's incredible automatic high beam control in rain convenience turning signal and then you have the travel mode driving on the right driving on the left depending which country you are you can choose this uh, super intelligent stuff go to mirrors you have also here settings to the mirrors you can turn the car like that you can go to brakes you have traction control hill descendant and all the settings auto hold all the settings uh, of the brakes around here easy opening here i'm not going to touch that because i think it will open up the hook or the trunk then you have the windows if you go here to the windows and opening doors and um, stuff like that all these settings for the door service position wipers you can put it in service position if you want to uh, change them or stuff like that anyway going to the status of the car here you find if the car have any errors or something like that you can see the consumption you can see the kilometer how many kilometer you did with the car and so on a lot of information about the car so this is super super useful and keep in mind because it's a diesel you're capable if you drive kind of economical to reach 1000 kilometers so that's quite quite impressive other than that you have telephone radio and navigation that you saw it before and it is really good anyway this is the way it looks guys one more time i'll show you the the digital screen to, to see how nice it looks and also the head of display it looks super super cool anyway i hope i cover everything in this video kind of hard to do it because it's super windy outside and yeah hard to focus when i was outside but i hope i bring you a lot of useful information in this video if you still have questions ask me down below whatever question you have i will answer you with pleasure also from my point of view very very good car that i would definitely love to drive as a daily driver so if you're on the market for an suv uh, small compact super spacious with a lot of technology good quality and reliable car i think this volkswagen tiguan might be one of the best uh, option now guys if you are in romania you can come at darius motors in ploiesti i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are super nice come here test drive the car see the car and uh, you probably might like it anyway thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos don't forget to like share subscribe i would really appreciate that guys really really appreciate it, it will help me a lot in the future if you can uh, subscribe like and share to make more and more videos like that and to bring you the cars uh, even faster or better and newer cars so thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe don't miss out the test drive video with the same car stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys